Hi, I'm Tamara Haynes with the American Culture Society, and I am here again with Amy. Uh, she has another beautiful quilt uh, in this in the Grand Rapids Quilt Week contest. Congratulations! Thank you. That's a thrill. It is. Uh, well, it's a thrill to look at this quilt. It is such a beautiful. It evokes such emotion. I feel like, and it's called Holding On to Hope. Tell us about the inspiration behind your quilt. Well, I'm originally from Oklahoma, and I know part of Oklahoma was uh, hit by the Dust Bowl right. in the 1930s. Mm -hmm. And um, where my parents were born and grew up wasn't actually affected, but I've just always felt this connection. And there's a Ken Burns documentary about the Dust Bowl mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I've watched a few times. I watched it while I was making this, but mm -hmm. I. He said, people went to bed at night saying, maybe it'll rain tomorrow. And the fact that this went on for years, yes. it's like, I can't even fathom the, the tenacity of holding on to s s such hope, such you know? Hope. I just, yeah. I, it just amazes me. We just get so frustrated and impatient if we don't get what we want tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And these people went years and lost years. everything. And, um, so it's just very meaningful to me. Absolutely, and survived on such yes. a rugged climate. And so you were inspired by an art, a photographer. Yes. Who took some photographs at the time. Now tell us about that. Uh, Dorothea Lang okay. was uh, a photographer. She was, I believe she was employed by the government to go out and mm -hmm. take pictures of the depression mm -hmm. and the dust bowl, which were concurrent. Right. And right. she has some really famous images. And when I was thinking about this dust bowl photo, um, I came across one is these wagon wheels with some other stuff in the background. Mm -hmm. And one is just this mountain of sand mm -hmm. enveloping an old farmhouse mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I put them together in a picture and then I had taken a their hers are black and white photos sure. okay. so and then I took a, a, a picture of a sunset and mm -hmm. played with the color and kind of laid it on top and I came up with this and I loved the symbolism of it's yes. either a sunset or a sunrise and you don't right. really know but if you're thinking about holding on to hope it's like the sun's going down on another day Mm -hmm. that it didn't rain right. but there's always tomorrow you know and the sun will come up again so absolutely. i thought that worked well with it absolutely and your technique uh so it really lends itself to you staying focused on the art of what you're trying to create <laughs> yeah. uh, so tell us about that through your painting and your raw edge applique okay well the top is uh painted because i couldn't i just wanted the colors to be really smooth and i didn't know if i could do that with uh, piece with appliqueing fabrics, but mm -hmm. I do raw edge applique, mm -hmm. and so this is all raw edge applique, mm -hmm. and um, I've tried fusing, mm -hmm. but it requires you go to over to the iron all the time, and mm -hmm. I like to stay in this mode that I'm actually painting with fabric, right. and I'm I'm just too impatient to have to stop and go over, to, you know, iron this yes. piece on and come back, or they people make little patterns. I'm too impatient. Mm -hmm. So I stay working right in my piece. I use a very little dots of, uh, of craft glue that's mm -hmm. watered down a bit, so right. it's very light. Um, but I can stay working and, you know, pulling my fabrics, like dipping my brush back in some more paint and keep working right here. That's what, how I like to work. Wonderful. Well, and so you just stay right, right in that moment. I love that idea. So, and I love that. Mm -hmm. My house is very quiet. I never yes. play music. Mm -hmm. It's just quiet. I, I find that if, if there's music going, I'm, I'm listening to where the music's going. Yes. If there's lyrics, I start thinking about the lyrics. I've actually made mistakes oh, working sure. because to me the music is so distracting. Right. So, right. I. I have a beautiful big, big window in front of my table that looks out. We live out nice. in the woods, but there's a yes. lawn. So I just, you know, I look out, I see wildlife, I see the season, whatever it is, and appreciate that. And uh, um, yeah, I'm very happy to just stay focused and time goes so fast Absolutely. when I'm yes. in there. I know when you were showing me pictures on your phone, I thought, oh, that's one of my favorites. And not knowing it was, it was yours. And because uh, <laughs> it does, it evokes such, uh, for me, happy memories of, 
of driving my daughter to school and seeing the sunrise in the local farms uh, out by where I live. So yeah. it was a very comforting uh, imagery for me. So I, I so enjoyed uh, seeing your quilt. And so. I grew up in suburbs oh, and, okay. you know, lawns and houses and stuff and only um, about 12 years ago moved out to a rural area and we live north of a very small town but I'm surrounded by areas of woods and then these cornfields yes. and I have so come to love mm -hmm. the rural everything Absolutely. the abandoned homes or the old farmhouses the cycle of the crops I just yes. and I just love it I love uh, watching the seasons evolve out where I can really see, you know. Yes. And again, all all hopeful things. Yes. yes yeah, so. exactly. Thanks so much for spending a few minutes with us today and visiting with Amy. And we hope to see you at the next Quilt Week and that you've been inspired to enter your quilt. We'd love to see it someday at Quilt Week.